So I promised you guys that I was gonna be getting more people onto the show, Beater Box Friday, Sneaker Mr. Box Friday, whatever you guys wanna call it. I do have a second chair here today, and I, I don't know, man. I've been seeing a lot of people tagging like all of these like sneaker influencers that they want on the show and stuff. And I was thinking like, man, it's gonna be hard to get these guys out to Hawaii. I mean, it's a beautiful place of vacation and stuff. Why would anybody wanna come out here? And I wasn't expecting like anybody to come through for quite a while. And then we got this guy to come in. Yo. You guys know this guy? How's it going? <laughs> it's the guy, man. This is the guy. How you doing, Kai's Omar, man. Thank you, you so much for coming through, bro. Can you squeeze on me. Yeah, yeah. Here? Sorry, it's or... a tight fit. Sorry, it's a tight fit. No, but... it's good. It's good, man. <laughs> dude, you came in a good time. Did I tell you how much this box is? No, how much? Oh, dude, it's four thousand five hundred dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> you came in for a banger I video, man. I like expensive man. things. So. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It should be a lot of fun, man. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be opening it up today. Stay tuned. That's gonna be coming up right after this. Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untied Hawaii here with the homie, Kais. Thank you so much for coming through, bro. Thank you for having me, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm man. excited. This is the first beater box that I've ever, like, unboxed. Oh, yeah? Um, okay, right on, man. What... Dude, it's a lot of fun, dude. Yeah. A lot of fun, but yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if you guys don't already know who this guy is, you guys should know who this is. I don't know what the heck you've been doing this whole time, <laughs> living under a rock or something, but this is Kais, basically the sneaker king of YouTube, dude. Nah, Honestly, nah, nah. nah, nah. nah. <laughs> I respect it, respect <laughs> it, man. Like, Kais is an OG, man. He knows his shiz. He's a true sneakerhead in every sense of the word Appreciate and it, I figured it would be cool to have him open up this box with us Hell so yeah. let's do it yeah for sure so this box is four thousand five hundred dollars and this one is actually from soulsteals.com yes. you heard of Soul Steals? yes shout out to Soulsteals. So. oh right on yes, cool cool yes. yeah yeah so the guy over there is dope uh, we basically caught this one from their membership website a little bit more expensive obviously 4500 but I'm hoping we get some good value on it so let's take a look yeah let's see sounds it. good Wow, I already see heat. You already see heat? So oh I guess we got to get to this one first, right? Yeah, jeez. <laughs> How are we feeling about this, man? That's a good one. Is this it? Is a good starter. You have these in your collection, I right? I do, actually. Nice. What size is this one, though? It's a size 11. Dude, that's my size, too. I could actually keep these if I needed wow. it. Wow, double up, huh? Well, I don't know. Maybe these are cleaner than those pairs. We just yeah. got to double check, right? But you got the orange laces on you? Yeah. Okay, I got black. And then I don't see any other laces in here. So, I mean, I guess this is the first shoe starting off the box super hot. I mean, this is a pair of the off-white, the 10, the Blazers, original ones. Yeah. How you feeling? This is nice. This is, I was surprised. I thought it was going to be a whole bunch of bricks, but <laughs> <laughs> look, we have, we started out with some heat. Shout out to like Soul Steel. Yeah, man. They always come through, which is really nice. But I mean, $4,500 box. You got to expect some bangers in here, right? Yeah. What does yeah. this go for now? I think on the aftermarket, in this kind of condition, dude, this thing is solid. I would say these are probably going for close to maybe a little over $1,000. Yeah. Yeah. Without the box, even, it's still a very good shoe. I mean, check this out over here. You guys can see Off-White, the 10, the Blazer. Probably the top three from the original 10 collection, in my opinion. You guys can check it out. Very clean condition. Still has that Off-White logo on the inside. And soles, not too bad at all. So. Looking pretty clean over here, man. I think you might be good luck, guys. Hey, I might have to come to Hawaii more often. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to fly out every week, maybe. Let's go. Maybe I'll surprise you. I'll, I'll jump in the beater box and just. Get <laughs> there over. you go. That'll save. That'll save some uh, money on flights and stuff. Like, yeah. oh, dude. What? Okay, we'll save that one. We'll oh save my that God. One. That's my size. I might leave with something today. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one out. We got a Jordan One. This one is a size six. It looks like an old Jordan box. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. What is this? 90 something? Oh yeah. Check the year on that, my man. Wow, this is a uh, definitely a base size. For sure. No, 2001. 2001, 2001 sorry. Yeah, 2001. 2001. 2001. But you know what's crazy? Try and look at the tag on this. Oh, this is the numbered pair. Oh, a 4,000? But look at the number. 40,000. One? This is the number one pair. What? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. That's insane. Size 6 wide. That's insane. So you guys got to check this Holy. out. Yeah. 2001 Jordan 1 bread. And you guys can see that right there. 0001 of 40,000. And this thing is freaking clean, oh, man. Oh, that's crazy. That is crazy, right? <laughs> I was looking at it. I was like, it can't be the first pair. Wait, we just filmed his sneaker collection for my channel. We might have to throw some of these in there. This we is, might have to. This right? is a banger. What? This is a banger. Yeah, by the way, if you guys didn't catch that video, I will definitely link that up over here. Check it out, man. It's on Kaisa's channel. It was a lot of fun to make, dude. Guy's a professional. I actually learned a lot about filming from what he was doing. It was really sick. Educational, man. Sweet. Teaching the next generation of sneaker YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so far, we're looking pretty good. Uh, next one out, let's take a look at this. So this one is a size 11.5. 
And for this one, nice. Black Cement 3s. Can't go wrong. Uh, this one I think is old. No, 2017. That was a recent release one. Yeah, yeah? yeah this the most the, recent. Yeah, the most recent one. Black Cement 3, one of the most classic Jordan colorways of all time. And honestly, a must have in any collection. This one is a little bit worn. You guys see that Nike Air on the back though. And bottoms, obviously a little bit dirtied up, but nothing too crazy, no paint chipping. So overall looking pretty good. Pull one out. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got another one without yeah, a box over there. What no is that? box over here. Oh. Where's that other nice one? Nice little shoe. Uh, I think these are from the Adidas outlet. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it, man. Oh, I, is there even a size tag in here? Um, mine has a size tag. What you got? Eight. Size, size eight. eight. Yep. Okay. How are we feeling about this, man? This, this is the, is this the old 2015? So this is the one, the first versions of this, right? Because it came out twice, I yeah, believe. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it did come out version, twice. Yeah. So, yeah, so 2015 models, this size is, eight. I love this shoe. Really? I really love the Pirate Black. Like this and the Turtle Dove, like classics. I feel like they've gotten kind of like overshadowed because all these V2s have come out. People mm. kind of like haven't respected this as much. Right. But to me, I love this shoe. Like this shoe is legendary. I think you have a really good point over there. Like a lot of people started getting into sneakers, I think around the V2 time. True. Where they kind of missed this wave, me especially, so I can speak like for facts for that one. But I missed the V1 wave. I respect what he did though, because when this came out, right, it was like, what the heck is this, yeah. you know? Innovative, it was the first time you've ever seen Kanye do these kinds of sneakers. It was a new model, like he literally made this from scratch. It's not like a Stan Smith knockoff or something. Yeah, yeah. He made these from the ground up, so very cool. My only issue with this is when you guys look at this close up, this boost, man, it gets pretty worn out really fast. Like yeah. from these first early goings, um, this one looks like it's in not bad condition, but most of the time I see this stuff really stiff. So you know, it's gonna like kind of get brittle really quick. But I mean, when you guys check out the uppers and stuff, everything else looks fine, which is nice. Overall, not too bad, man. Yeah. And I think these are still holding some pretty good value. Oh yeah, they Probably are. 600 or something like that, I would say. I would say a little bit more. Maybe so? used maybe mm. like 600. Yeah, 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 I think so. All right, so pull out a foam posit box over here. This one is a size eight, so I'm not expecting anything crazy in this. I think these are called the Gucci foam posits, right? Yeah, no, are they? Gucci. Yeah, they are. I, think so. I don't know. I've never really been into foam posits. <laughs> really, not a foam posit guy. No, I never, mm. never owned a pair. Really, yeah. not even the Galaxies. No, not the Galaxies. If I could pick one foam posit, it would be the Supreme foam posit. Oh, uh, which which colorway? Either the red or the black. Either one. They're both mm. fire. I just could never find them in my size. Oh, I feel you. I feel yeah. you. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really huge on the foam posits either. But after <laughs> I started wearing the Galaxy version, I yeah. I started to kind of like it, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they can do some really cool stuff with these uppers and stuff, that's why, which I think is really dope. If you guys wanna check this one out really fast, this is the Gucci foam posit, I believe. Gucci, because you guys see that red and green over there, it's Gucci colors. It does look like it is in worn condition, but lightly worn, nothing too bad. Uppers don't look scratched or anything, so we have another good pair right here. And I'm gonna say it again, I believe Mr. Omar over here is good luck. <laughs> dude is doing really well in this box so far. I like it, I like it. And we still got more heat in here, dude. Uh, next one out, uh, we got a pair of these. This is a size nine Jordan five box. And for this one, oh dude, that, do you smell that? <laughs> this, this, this is some pretty dank shoes in here right now. Oh, I gotta make sure that this is all good in here because, man, this is strong. Whoever owned these, wow. I don't know. Take a look. These are a dope pair of sneakers, though. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm oh saying, right? God. Can you yeah. guys smell this through the camera? You I can didn't smell, smell this, that right? At first. Now I smell it. It's legalized, I guess. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is strong, though. Wow. Anyway. Uh, this is a pair of Jordan 5 Shanghai Shens. How do you feel about the 5s? Uh, I love the 5s. Yeah. One of my favorite models. Um, I like this colorway especially because it's in the Warriors colorway. Oh, I feel I like you. That. I like okay. that. Okay. We got to take a sidebar right here real quick, guys. How are you feeling about the Warriors this year, man? You know what I'm saying? It's a rebuilding process. It's a rebuilding process. We'll be process. back next year. We'll be back next year. <laughs> it's crazy just how fast people turn on like yeah, a great man. team though, right? Unfortunately, like I go to my social media and like a lot of the people that were supporting last year are nowhere to be found it's weird yeah i try to stay loyal to them and i, like, I watch it. all the games even though i can only name maybe like six players on the team <laughs> yeah that's true. i don't even know who's playing right now man <laughs> but i mean yeah it's it's, it's gonna be fun next season I'll i think so i think so fun. yeah for sure man i mean you still got the core there you got clay you got draymond you got staff it's good yeah. So we'll see. I mean, were you also, you were still a fan when it was just Steph and Monte before? I was, yeah, man. I was actually pissed off when they drafted Steph because I'm like, oh, he's going to try to take Monte's spot. I love, I love Monte Ellis. Same, Him, same. Jay Rich, 
Uh, oh, okay. Jackson, that's how like, we know. That's how we know. That this guy's an OG. Okay. Yeah, that team was amazing. <laughs> that We Believe team was amazing. I so feel you. I was a I little mad because I didn't know too much Who about Steph, Steph Curry is, right? But, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. He okay. More. <laughs> right. Yes, he did. So, really quick, you guys can check this out over here. Shanghai Shan Jordan 5. One of the best Jordan 5 colorways, in my opinion. And, like Kai said, got that warrior vibe going on, which is pretty sick. I like that a lot. This one is a very clean pair as well. Only problem is it smells... Pretty dang strong, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. You might need a, a medical card if you want to buy yeah, these. that's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Underage kids, I'm sorry, man. Might have to put a disclaimer on that. Over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you want to take a box out of here, Kais? We got yeah. a couple more left. Three boxes, it looks like. I'm going to go... Uh, there's a Yeezy box, there's an Off-White box. Take that Off-White, man. Go with, the go off with the heat. Box. Go with there the heat. Go. All right, what we got? Ooh, Ooh, the Prestos. The Prestos. How you feel about these, man? This is my favorite Presto that they released. Over no, the OG. Over, over the, OG. the OG? Because it's Hot just, take. I can get these dirty and not have to worry about cleaning them at Touché. all. Like, Touché. this is very wearable. Touche. So. Okay, I, I feel like you. This. So this one is in a size 11, too. So this is actually my size. I had these before, but I really like the OG version a little bit more. I just thought that it had more of like a diverse color palette and yeah. whatnot. But I feel you on the fact that you don't need to clean them. The white ones, man? No. Yeah, I stay away from those. Yeah, no, stay away from those. no amount of Crep Protect is going to save you on those, exactly, man. Exactly. Those things get stained. Yeah. But check this out. Uh, Off-White Presto. This one is in the black color colorway, like we were saying. Very clean, actually, now that I'm looking at it up close. I don't see any scuffs on this at all. Bottoms look fine. Nothing really crazy. It doesn't look like there's any drag going on. No, like, kind of, like, uh, anything out of place over here. So, overall, another good pair, man. And it does have the zip tie, which is dope. And got the box, so... We're looking pretty good, man. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, 4,500 bucks so far, so good, I would say. Next box out is actually right here. This is a size 9, 350 box, so V2 version. And <laughs> what we got over here, man? Belugas. Beluga 1.0s? Yeah, I think it's the 1.0, 1. 1. yeah. <laughs> We got a running joke on the channel, man. What is that? I always mix up the 2.0 and the 1.0 all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> so that's why I deferred to him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. says these are the 1.0s. Maybe they are. I don't know. The 2.0 had the... Um, They're the did, dark gray. I think. Yeah, the dark gray. It didn't have that many lines on it, I don't think. I forget. No. There's so many That's now. what I'm saying. So you I guys forgot. gotta take it easy on me, man. This is It's hard, man. There's so many easy models. Yeah, there is. If you had to name actually all of the easy models that came out, I don't think I can do it anymore. No, I like can't. The names? Yolanti, 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 <laughs> Yolanda's. Yolanda's. Whatever they are. Yeah. I can't do it, man. Uh, this one is clean though. Bottoms, they're a little bit yellowed up, but not too bad. I mean, the main thing you want to check is the boost on these Yeezy 350 models to make sure they're good. I don't see anything else on this shoe that would say it's a beater though. Overall, good pair, good value. It is what it is, man. Yeah. That's the first 350 ever, right? V2? Yeah, no, I, wasn't it the Zebra? No. No, was I it think the it was the Belugas. I trust this guy more than I trust I myself. I think, so. I think, I could be wrong. Fact check us, guys. Yeah. <laughs> right on. And guys, can you do me the honor of taking out that last box in here? I got you, man. It looks this is, like a uh, banger. Hopefully, they don't pull a fast one. And uh, actually, it's happened before. It's happened before. Right. This one says Yeezy Two N R G. Yeezy Nine Two, but this half. is a Nike box. This Are you sure? Yeezy? The, the original Air Yeezy. Oh. Not just a Yeezy. Air Yeezy. Air Yeezy. My bad. Okay. Air Yeezy. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh. What wow. we got? What color we got, man? This is, uh, Red this Octobers. Is, this is my favorite. It's not the red October. Okay, but this size is nine and a half. Ooh, the platinums, the baby. Platinums. Dang, dude, you really are lucky, aren't you? I think so. <laughs> you I brought, think so. You brought the luck to Hawaii, man. Wow. Dang, these are in really nice condition too, right? They are. Dude, this is fire. So if you guys don't know, these are the Yeezy 2 Nikes, man. This is when Kanye was still with Nike before he left for Adidas. And this is a fire, fire pair, man. Like Kai said, this is his favorite colorway. I... And kind of on the fence, and this might be my favorite colorway too. I I've always I said the it. Solars are my favorite, but when I start to look at these more, man, this thing just pops when it's on feet. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm biased because this was my first pair of Yeezys. Like, oh, really? I, I, Ever. Of all the Yeezys, this was my first pair, the white pair. Fire. Okay. Okay. And then you went Solars and then Red Octobers? Uh, yes. Okay. So yeah. that order. Okay. And I would say the, which is your least favorite of the three? Mm. Dude, that's hard. Dude, really? Probably Red October. Same. That's what I was thinking. And I know yeah. a lot of people will hate us for that, which yeah. is weird, but... It's definitely the most hyped. It is the most hyped. But it's like these two are way more wearable. I Not think so. Not these two, but the black and the white yeah. are way more wearable. Yeah, and I mean, just the colors on these go a lot harder. I feel like these are something that are like... It just seems like he put a lot more thought into it, you know? Mm -hmm. Other than making everything all red. But... Yeah. 
hot take what is what it is wow. do you have your um things on here or i there... don't oh but, okay um, so that might be our only issue on these guys it looks like usually the bag comes with extra ones yes sir it's, it's not on here but it does come with the bag okay so yeah it has the bag which is cool but it doesn't look like it has the lace tips which is kind of unfortunate but i mean you still got the platinum air yeezy 2 platinums very very nice colorway and this is what I meant over here. You guys can see these are screwable aglets that are actually on here, but the aglets are not here, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. It doesn't take away from the shoe too much. Could always go to like eBay or something and pick them up yeah. or get some knockoffs for, for probably like a couple bucks. So honestly though, from my past experience, mm -hmm. I, I did have like two of them and I wore it one time and it was like a pain. Like I it hated it. It keeps going. It keep, yeah, it keeps making noise. You look down every two seconds to see if it's still on there. Dude, like, funny story about that, man. Yeah. I never told the channel this because I was like kind of embarrassed by it. I lost both my aglets on my shoes one day. Yeah, see? I wore them and I didn't even notice that they unscrewed. And yeah. then I went home and I was like, what the heck happened? Yeah. I was so sad, dude. It just screws off by itself. You're going to have to like glue those things Exactly, on. exactly. I don't know what it is, but it's just not good technology because it really does just come off on yeah. its own when you're walking. So. They just made it built in or something, but then you couldn't unlace it, which makes sense. So. And you couldn't change out the colors from silver yeah, and gold and stuff exactly. so uh, i mean very small knock at it but overall still one of the greatest shoes ever created yeah yeah that's a fact and we unboxed it with one of the greatest youtubers ever on sneaker nah, scene nah. so <laughs> dude you're a really humble guy i really nah, like that about I you try, man. man i just i mean i love i love sneakers so i love it man. I love, this was dope this is fun so i might have to get myself a beater box for the future i think you should yeah yeah and we'll i think i should fly out to la appreciate it man but one last thing that i did want to say i mean we're going to be closing out this box and stuff is i just really wanted to take this opportunity to tell you in person thank you for what you did for sneaker youtube man oh man like i don't know if you hear it enough or if anybody's ever told it to you but I really appreciate that you paved the way for like people to like actually make like a living on this career and yeah. stuff, you know, like a lot of people take it for granted. Like they say, oh, okay, Kais is like, he's been here for so long and stuff or his content changes and this and this and this. But honestly, what a lot of you guys don't realize like is how hard it is to like become relevant in YouTube and especially to make a name in a scene like sneakers, which I know that you guys watching are sneaker heads, but sneakers are a very niche market guys. Like not everybody that you meet will be into sneakers and so it's a very small audience and for kais to like bring attention to that like kind of like group you know of sneakerheads i think that was huge i mean Thank you're you, yeah, yeah yeah it's crazy man like you really did do a lot of stuff for its community and yeah. i appreciate it so much i yourself. don't even look at it like that sometimes it's, uh, like it's crazy when you say it because then it's like damn like i just wanted to switch things up you know rather than just sitting at home and unboxing i wanted to make like the vlog style and just right. bring more attention to it right and it's crazy like how during when I started doing it, it's like a lot of other people started getting into sneakers with 350s and Yeezys and all that too. So I feel like it was just perfect timing, man. I think and, you know. I, whatever you're doing, man, it was really good. And the comedy skits and stuff, always yeah. entertaining, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you got really good content. And you, the thing is, is that you're always innovating. Some people obviously aren't going to like the changes that happen, but yeah. that's part of what this thing is. You know, it's fluid. You can't stay the same the whole way through or else you're going to become irrelevant. Yeah. And the fact that you've been around, how long have you been making videos now? 12 years dude see that's insane years. dude yeah. yeah that's crazy and yeah. so well deserved i mean you put in the thank work you. and stuff and but yeah really just thank you for helping out smaller creators like this because i'm a small channel man the fact that kais even like hit me up to come on the show I, such a blessing dude it's like, overdue man it was overdue we i really do. appreciate it man yeah. so thank you so much guys appreciate if it. you guys are new here feel free to subscribe down below don't forget to like the video and also don't forget to go to that video that i filmed with kais about our sneaker collection it will be on his channel i will link all of that in the description below as well make sure you guys follow him if you guys aren't already then i don't know what the heck you've been doing like i said <laughs> man's been around on the sneaker scene for a very long time yes, subscribe to the channel guys and watch the content support your favorite creators Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, stay humble, stay blessed, take care. We will see you on the next episode. Aloha. Shoots. Aloha. Hey, <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>